Today we are starting something new. Don't worry, I'll still make Linux overviews, but I've been wanting to get this started for a while and finally decided to do it. In this new series, we will be taking vanilla Arch Linux, setting up OpenBox and customizing it into a fresh new desktop. This series will be released in multiple episodes as there will be a lot to do. But after this first episode, you should have a full working lightweight powerful desktop. So let's get Arch Linux installed and get it going. Feel free to pause the video if you decide to follow along. All syntax can also be found in the video description. So here we go. I hope you enjoy this new series. Now let's get into it. To install the latest version of Arch Linux, simply enter Arch install and hit enter. You will then activate the Arch install script. Most default info is already selected. Adjust it to your settings using the tab, spacebar, and arrow keys. Don't be intimidated by it. Just take your time and the Arch install script will do all of the hard work. Again, feel free to pause this video at any point. Here I am at a point where I select my desktop manager. Openbox is not in the list. So we will choose XFCE. Then as we get to the additional packages option. There we will instruct it to install Openbox and Openbox related tools like the Tint 2 panel and Nitrogen for backgrounds. Again, feel free to pause the video when needed. Installer has finished. So all we have to do is reboot the system to get onto our desktop. Once logged in you will notice that everything is pitch black. Or empty. That's how Openbox starts. So we will need to set it up so that it starts the way you want it to every time you start your system. So don't be alarmed. This is normal. We are going to tell it what to do. We will have full control of everything. From the right click menu we opened a terminal and launched our panel. The Tint 2 panel. From here we will have easier access to our system. So let's edit the Tint 2 panel and start setting it up. Again, I can't stress this enough. Feel free to pause the video.
I have set up the panel the way I want it for now. Next I will open a file manager Nemo. Right click inside the file manager and tick on the show hidden file selection. We need to access the .config folder. Once inside of it we create another folder called openbox. Open it and the right click inside of it and create an empty document. Name it auto start then open it with your text editor. Here's where we will load our desktop from. So feel free to pause the video or see the video description for commands used in the auto start file. You need a pull kit to run administrative commands so we are setting it up. It's in the video description so you don't have to find it like I did. Just make sure you add it to your auto start file so it starts every time you start your system. Now let's open Nitrogen, our background wallpaper app, and set it up to make things look nicer. Like I said before, today we are just setting up our desktop. We will soon get into the fun stuff. Now let's give it a dark theme. We will get into more themes later, but for now let's just give it a little paint job to ease the eyes. Now let's do a quick reboot to see if all is well and dandy with our setup. It should restart with our new desktop the way we set it up.
looks like all is well and dandy. But I'm missing the volume rocker from the system tray. Let's fix it and try again. There it is. A quick typo fix did the trick. Right clicking on the volume icon you can open its preference where you can change the icon and activate keys to adjust volume. The beauty of Openbox is complete control over everything. It only does what you tell it to do. Well, I hope you enjoyed this first episode. We are going to do a lot with it. So rest assured there's more tutorials coming in this series. This first episode was just to get the system up and running. More fun to follow. I'll catch you all on the next episode. And I'm out. Peace.